Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Man as a respect man. Are your girl Debbie from Donga Yard? Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, always a special welcome waiting for you. Thank you so very much. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning, man as a respect. Now today before, I'm going to do first things first, before we go any further, let me give a shout out to my girlfriend, um, Donna Fisher, Donna from Bronx, New York, big up yourself, Donna, if I'm not Bronx, try to um, remind me, I think it is Donna Fisher from Bronx, New York, Donna, big up yourself, man as I respect my sister, in Jamaica now, it's Odin and Janelle, and they are two of my biggest Jamaican family members supporting me on the Jamaican Debbie Deb strain and also on the Jamaican cooking journey. Odin and Janelle from Willowdin, man as our respect, big up on ourselves. See? Now today I'm gonna do for you or or, or I'm gonna share with you another nice little eye. Camera girl. Jackfruit is considered an, ex an exotic fruit. I think so. Yeah, I think so. You can Google it, family. We're going to do for you today a nice little jackfruit punch. I'm going to show you how to prepare this jackfruit punch. Because can I tell you something? Jackfruit is eaten a whole lot in Jamaica. But you know what I'm? I see the people eating it and some of them don't even know how much jackfruit can hurt your stomach. It doesn't give you diarrhea, but it will hurt your stomach to hell and back. When I was a little girl, the only thing that my father would have cut my tail for is to eat jackfruit without soaking it in salted water. So, I've got here some ice cold water. And to this ice cold water, I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of just table salt and I'm gonna leave it to dissolve. You know, it will take a little time because we have this ice cold water. And if you're eating it, it's best to, dis to, to, to pick the, the fruit um, from the, the, the husk and soak it in water. I, I could not, I don't know what a piece of jackfruit tastes like without it being soaked in salt water. So we have the salt water. So you want to get a piece of jackfruit that is like this. Why? You want it extra ripe. You don't want to turn one and all of that. That has so much stain. It has some stains. But when it's properly ripe, it's less stains. Come on, girl, get right in on this. I want to show you how you pick this fruit and all of that. It has seeds and it has some other little part. And I see the people that eat it. I see the Jamaican people that eat some part of the jackfruit. They're not supposed to eat it, but I guess... Because they're not from the country. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to put together today a little jackfruit punch. And all like that. So now look at this. These are what we call pegs. So when you, it is cut sort of hard. So, but you have to put some pressure. So when you pick it, these little strips, you're not to eat them. But maybe some people are eating because they say nice. So you take it and you put it in the salt water. This brown part here, you remove it too. Look at how it's how it's, it's it is. So you got another peg. You go down to the core camera grinder right upon it, and you pull from the very very all of this here that is on top of it. You need to remove these. Some people eat them, but you're not supposed to eat them. No, this is a full. It's hard, you know. So you got to go. You have to put some pressure. So this is a full one. Okay, so seeds are out. And I'm not gonna throw away the seeds, I'm gonna save my seeds. Because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the seeds, but not on this video. So now, the seed is out and this brown part in here, you need to take it out. These strips here, you need to remove them. I've showed you that. I'm gonna go now in the interest of time on the video and I hope you have seen what I did. 
the seeds we're gonna use we're gonna throw these parts out so I'm gonna go now finish all of this leave it in salted water for about 15 to 20 minutes and when we return we'll be all with all our little other ingredients together with our blender and all of that to make you a decent little jackfruit punch we did the thinking to a punch for mother's day we're gonna line up the jackfruit punch for father's day must soon come okay family so this is what is left from the husk of my jackfruit i'm gonna be using the seeds for a different or in a different video now i've um, strained off the water from my jackfruit and uh, this is what it looks like they are cold and all of that so i'm gonna be putting my jackfruit pulps in some crushed ice that i have in my blender here you know and you could take this sponge and you could make it your own remember the jackfruit is really ripe so i i i, I said chose one that is ripe 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 just like that and because it is sweet when the more the more ripe it the more ripe it is the sweeter it is just like ripe banana or plantain so you're not going to use any sugar because the jackfruit has enough sweetness in it too you know to deal with this one but if you want to have want to have sugar some people want to have sugar you can extra sugar you can go in and try to remember that the jackfruit also it is like seriously strong it have a strong odor okay so you got to know how much you're using just for a small amount of punch i'm sorry for this i don't know why is this have to be stretching but whatever sorry family so you have um a evaporated milk or if you don't want to use evaporated milk use your milk of choice but remember this milk has some thickness in it and it will help to give it the punch some body it will help to make it creamy because you know a punch or something we're supposed to be creamy hmm? okay that's our liquid i'm gonna put in be putting in this some sangsters rum cream hmm? and this is what my have. okay gonna be putting in here like a little cork full of my red label just for a little gig the jackfruit right there i'm gonna put in a dash of cinnamon no more the jackfruit right there has a little saltiness to the flavor and all of that right here now we're going right over here and you know what is going to happen just to puree And I'm going to be pouring up some for you. Wow. You see that creaminess? That is what the evap milk gives to it. So you know, as usual, we have to put a little arm. This is just a little garnish and all of that. And you know that's how it goes. And all of that. Okay? So, let me try to forget for my own. I don't know it. I'm going to have to do the sample. Look at it. Look at the, look how creamy it is. This is so beautiful. This is good as it is. I I can't just say. Some people might want a little more sugar. Not for me, you know. But if you want a little more sugar, you could. I think I already said, or I would suggest. I am tired, family. I've had Thursday was a rough day. Friday was a really rough day. Please just stay with me with the holy pop, 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 pop. I am really tired, but I've got to keep you. You know the videos I have just fit. I, I am back on videos. So, as I was saying, if you want to add a little more sweetness, I would suggest you use condensed milk. Not to, you know, to maintain that creaminess. The jackfruit is there with the flavor. You could take this and make it your own. You could put some crushed peanuts. You could put some crushed cashews with no salt. Just for gig it up that when it, you know your taste, you just chew your little cashew, your little peanut. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, and most of all to your stomach and your father's day table, it is Jamaican jackfruit punch. I mean, no, somebody ever said, I don't come talk about Jamaican jackfruit. I'm not Jamaican, I don't have jackfruit. But yeah, but this one is the Jamaican one. So please do enjoy. It is the best with a little rum cream, a pinch of red label, and all of that. Take it and make it your own. 
okay once more please do enjoy now if you have liked this video remember to give me a thumbs up remember to make sure you're subscribed to the Jamaican cooking journey and remember I'll be showing you what I'll be doing in another video with these jackfruit seeds and all of that and remember I told you our old um whatsapp number it's no longer in existence we'll soon publish another one for you email and instagram for now that's how you'll get in touch with me thank you thank you once more for your love thank you once more for your support debbie from the bless no stress